Uh, hello, shy, Welsh troll, Iron Wolf. Wait, why don't why don't I have the game up? Why is the game not here? Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, welcome to the stream. It is Friday, TJIF. If Friday means something to you guys, I hope it's been a good day. It's kind of just another day for me. My weekends and my and my weekdays are all pretty much the same, except the little guy has been here pain in the butt. Uh, he was up before three o'clock this morning and it has just been issue after issue today. So, mommy's kind of cranky. Baby's kind of cranky. Oh, hi, Rainy. Nice to see you too. Uh, but that's okay. That's all right. You know, we can't all have magical, wonderful days. Yesterday was definitely one of those days. That was awesome. So we'll just have to take it as it comes. <laughs> Exactly, bud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds awesome. Pizza, an Amazon gift card, box tickets to an upcoming Flames game. That's awesome. I love, uh, little known Star Grace fact, I love sports. Uh, specific sports. I don't love all sports. They are not all created equally in my mind. I love hockey and I love football. I'm a... I'm a big fan of going to see the games live when I can. I, it's been a couple of years since I've been to one, but definitely a, a huge fan. So that sounds like a lot of fun. I've never been in box seats before. I've had some good tickets before, some good seats, but not box. Is it like catered and everything? Is it like a business, a business type box seat? Because those are just the best. They're so fancy. <laughs> um, and pizza, I have not, I, I made some pizza not that long ago, and I was thinking maybe of making some next week, but then I reworked my my food schedule. So, not next week, but maybe the after ones. Oh, private bar, even better. I have not had a drink in a long time. <laughs> Two years, maybe almost three. I've never been a really big drinker, so it wasn't a... Uh, it's not a big deal, but you know, I would enjoy a drink every now and again, especially on days like today. Uh, I'm still breastfeeding though, so that's a no-go for now. Oh, tea. I love tea. I'm a big tea drinker too. All right, so... Um, yes. Oh, nachos. Not fair. Dude, what? 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 What is it? What is it? I don't have any toys for you up here. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me, let me grab a toy for you. Is that your problem? Here. Okay. Here we go. We got some toys. There. Is that better? All right. So when we left our colonists, I did play a little tiny amount. Oh wait. First, before I get into that, a uh, huge thank you to Shy and everybody else who donated towards the computer gaming chair. I went ahead and ordered that. I don't know when it will get here, uh, but I'm gonna do a big unboxing stream. I'm so excited about having a an actual gaming chair instead of just an office chair, which is what I've been using for many, many years now, and they always fall apart. So I'm very excited about that. So thank you very much for that. You can see I don't have the donation thing up on the screen anymore because we reached the goal, uh, which was just amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, you guys have just been so supportive, and I really, really appreciate that. So when we left our colonists off yesterday, Iron Wolf uh, had just died because his blood leaked out all over the ground while we weren't paying attention. Uh, I played a couple of minutes, not long. His body has been cremated. Um, I need to give Ogre a weapon because he doesn't have one right now. And we had just taken out uh, the, uh, the siege that was happening up north. So now we're... <laughs> So now we are uh, just collecting all the crap that's all over the map, basically. Recuperating from that. Everybody's pretty much healed up, though. We've got some visitors in the base. And I think that's about it. We've been trying to get a grimoire so we can get this dang uh, research bench built, but it hasn't happened. We're also trying to recruit Trumpet, who is our prisoner. <laughs> yes, mauled to death. Well, you, I mean, to be honest, ugh, you did have some gunshot wounds, too, and stuff. Like, the Scyther did attack you. Um, it was just that the fox got the final blow. Yes, honey. You are a pain in the rump, little mister. Goodness. 
So, I mean, the fox got the final say, but you put up a brave fight until th until then? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we've still got Jadia. It doesn't seem like she's at risk of defection anymore, even though she has no talking, which is great. The weird thing I found was uh, when I had the visitors here, they dropped these on the ground. I don't know if you can see these here. Waxy lips. They dropped them on the ground. A bright pair of luscious red ruby lips made of a waxy substance. They're not really meant to be eaten, but that hasn't stopped anyone yet. Now, I remember wax lips, the, the candy. <laughs> but I don't know what... I don't know if they do anything bad if we eat them. The visitors left them on the floor in the kitchen, which is kind of grody, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so we've got... These guys are a merchant, so let's see if they've got anything good for sale here. <laughs> Maybe the fox was in... Dude! Okay! <laughs> hey! 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 Everybody hears you, honey. It's okay. Everybody hears you. Uh, they've got some medicine. We're gonna buy that from them. We're gonna sell our go juice, because we really don't need go juice. And we're just going to sell enough things to take all their coins. They don't have that much. They've got 176 silver. Alright. Okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Where'd your other toy go? What'd you do with it? I don't even know where that went, honey. Yeah, uh, Leo is kind of like that. He kind of eats everything. I've got some plants that I've had to relocate because he started pulling the leaves off of them and then just eating them. And I found him with like a little branch in his mouth. He had been uh, chewing on something for like half an hour and I didn't really, I didn't really clue in. Yes, honey. Yes. I didn't really clue in and then I reached into his mouth. Hey, wait, what? There's more wax lips out here. <laughs> Okay, okay, baby. That's enough. Let's have a quiet moment, huh? Let's have a quiet moment. You're yeah, right. Okay. Our stockpile is getting really low. We also had a blight come by and it killed off all of our crops, so that was kind of a bummer. So we're regrowing those. We've got a good supply of wood, not very much iron. Oh, oh, Leo? No, he is very, very, very shy, just not around me. <laughs> he does not like strangers, though. He, uh, what happened? We've got an escape pod. Let's pause this. Arg, child, you're frustrating. <laughs> he's, he's very wiggly today, so he doesn't really want to sit with me, but if I put him on the floor, he just cries, so it's difficult. All right, so... This chick here is incapable of none, which is good, and she's steadfast and a prosthetophile. So we're gonna try to recruit her. Uh, we're gonna rescue her and bring her back to our base and try to take care of her and see if we can't. Uh, I mean, she's gonna die in 12 hours. Oh, and she's pretty far away from base. We sh sent still Kiko after her, and I think he's our slowest uh, Colonist too. I should have sent someone a little faster. Oh well. Oh goodness, bud. <laughs> we should tame a fox and keep it in base just as like a reminder of the evils of having foxes around. Oh my goodness, dude. There, there's our fox. There's only one on the entire map, too. So you got killed by the, the solo fox on the whole map. What the hell is that noise, child? My goodness, today. <laughs> I don't think we get to name the animals. I think they're automatically named. But we will we will name it in, in internally. <laughs> we will remind ourselves that that's his name. That's, there's probably a mod. Oh no, hiding in room. Ivy Ogre is hiding in her room. The final straw was experiencing acute pain, so he, she's gone bonkers. I forgot that Ogre, we named it after my husband, but it's a female. Oh, sensory mechanics, I forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Iron Fox, that's an awesome name, I like that. Okay, okay, please calm down a little, huh? Just a little bit for me. Come on, bud. Uh, they're sleeping outside because they're visitors and we don't have any, we have one visitor bed here and they decided they didn't want to sleep in that, so they would rather sleep outside. Which is fine with me. <laughs> I don't mind if they sleep out there. Oh, did we, okay, we did, we did catch her. Um, she's going to die in three hours. So let's have, okay, Scopeek is going to go tend to her, so that's good. We should be able to catch her before she dies, hopefully, now that she's back in the house. The more colonists we can have, the better, honestly. And she doesn't have any really negative traits. So we definitely want to scoop her up and bring her into the colony. Or she's just going to heal and wander off like they all seem to do. <sighs> I don't know why my... I have a mod for visitors. I have a lot of them. They leave um, treats for me. And that's why I have a guest bed. Dude! Oh my goodness. You're driving mommy bonkers today, child. Huh? You're driving mommy bonkers. It's days like today. I live uh, I live on top of a mountain, and uh, down down the mountain there's a little town, and then 45 minutes away or so is like the next town. I don't consider it a city. It's not that big, uh, so we don't have like takeout. I mean, we have takeout, but it's like half an hour away, and they don't they don't deliver out here. So it's days like today where I wish we had delivery, cause I could really go for pizza or something like that. <laughs> Instead of, uh, what am I having? I think I'm having leftover lasagna tonight, which I've had all week. Which is good, I like lasagna, but I'm in a mood where I just don't want to do anything. And I just want to eat pizza. <laughs> so that's the downside to living where I live. I mean, it's beautiful, and we have lots of wild animals and grizzly bears and stuff in the backyard. <laughs> but, uh, it has, it has its downsides. Okay, bud. You gotta stop freaking out. Alright, so the, the visitors are leaving. Yes, honey. Visitors are leaving. Here, down you get. There you go. Yeah, you found a piece of cookie. Eat that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Who is starving? Ogre is starving. Um, where is Ogre? Oh, he's sleeping. Well, he can get himself food when he. Oh, he just passed out in the hallway. Alright. Well, let's have JDF feed him, maybe? Nope. She can't feed him because she's incapable of talking. That's amusing. Dude, where- that's my feet. Where are you going? Hmm? That's my feet. You gotta watch your head. You're gonna stand up and you're gonna bonk your head. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, bud. I'm tired too. Well, everybody's tired. Alright, well, Ogre will have to wake up when he can. He can't wake up right now because he's got the sensory uh, health issue. So it basically turns all your muscles to mush and you just start to collapse everywhere. So, but we can't do anything for him. Dude, please, 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 please today, honey. Uh, cargo pots. Oh, and we have a defection risk again from Jadia, of course. Really? They gave us simple meals? Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Please, baby. Here we go. Okay, so Jadia is upset again because she's got that no jaw. We've been trying to get her a jaw, and we did find her a jaw, but unfortunately our best doctor, which was Iron Wolf, <laughs> failed at the surgery. Hi. Did you know you're driving me bonkers? You're so loud today. Huh? You're so loud. Yeah. Alright, okay, so the fried man that we rescued is very grateful and she's going to come and join. So we're going to accept her. We've got a new recruit. Dude, don't yell. And you know what? Who do we have? Let's make a rainy the second. We had one. I know she died. It's time to go into the twos, and Iron Wolf will probably be next if we can recruit Trumpet, we'll see. So let's get her situated with all the number stuff. Why does this one say three? This should say one. Oh my goodness, child. Okay, down you get. Yeah, down you get. He's such a butt. 
All right, so let's get all these numbers fixed up, get her doing some stuff that she actually likes. Lots of good, uh, like the things with the flames in it is good. I mean, she'll get joy from doing those things. So that's awesome. Uh, we don't need her hunting. We don't need her cooking. We've got lots of people who can cook. <laughs> I seriously just put him on the floor so that he could watch TV and he he's silent now. It's, I had to look back there to make sure he's okay. Oi. You ever have one of those days? <laughs> it's like that for me. It's, it's hard. Hmm. It's a hard day. But I do like doing the streaming because it's like a little bit of me time, even though it's difficult. All right. So we're going to knock off. We don't, we're, we don't need to assign her a sleep pattern. That's why I always clear that. And I just enforce the joy so that they don't end up neglecting themselves. They'll choose when they need to sleep. It's part of the AI. So unless they're a, um, uh, unless they're the people who sleep during the day and are awake at night, a night owl, <laughs> Durr. unless there, it says that they're a night owl, you don't need to assign their sleep. And she's not. So it's all good. Thank you for the hug, Shy. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm whining a lot today. I really don't mean to. It's I'm, I'm just tired. Uh, so Rainy the Second is upset because she's got no clothes because we sold all of our clothes. So we're going to have to make her some new stuff. So let's make uh, some pants, some t-shirts, and we'll make some more hats. And hopefully she'll have a, a better time putting on clothing than Wellstroll, who just wasn't interested. Alright, there we are. <laughs> yeah, but you're not an exotic stripper this time. This time you are a... Uh, oof, I don't even... Okay, well, in your adulthood, you're an exploration officer. And in your childhood, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Ikunamen Paula's child. All right, you were a, a child. <laughs> yes, baby. Calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. It's, yes, calm down. Oh, and I want to make sure that she's going to self tend. There we go. We'll flick that on. She's still healing up. But we'll get some. Clothes. Oh, we don't have any cloth either. What happened to our cloth? We only have one. I thought we had a lot more. Oh, and let's give her a weapon too. Dude. Oh, goodness, child. You can lie here and relax, but if you stretch out and arch your back like that, it becomes an issue. <laughs> yes, honey. Alright, so... Let's make sure everybody has a weapon just in case something happens. You've got a weapon. You've got a weapon. You've got your broom of doom. You've got a weapon. You've got a weapon. Good. We're set. <laughs> depends on how old you are, Iron Wolf. Yeah, it depends on how old you are. Iron <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> All right, so Rain is healing up. Trumpet is still pacing. Everybody's... <laughs> everybody is sleeping. And doing their colonist thing. I don't think we have anything to allow on the map, but no, no forbidden things, so that's cool. I still don't know what happened to the Grimoire that we had. I know we had a second one. And uh, I know we sent Iron Wolf out after it and he made it for us and then it just kind of vanished. So, I don't know. Okay, okay. Here, here. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna go get my little guy something to munch on in case he's hungry. So I'll be right back. You want a cookie? Mm -hmm. You want a cookie, bud? Hold on a sec, let me get you a cookie. And 
I'm back. Yay! So Rainy's still unhappy that she's nude. What we can do, I guess, because we're not growing any cotton or anything, we can send someone out to go smush some animals. And then we'll get some fur and stuff. Oh, a textiles trader. Well, that comes in handy. We will buy some. I <laughs> took it to the grave. <laughs> Maybe. I I'm honestly not sure uh, what happened with that. Alright, so we'll buy... We don't need quite that much. Mm, let's get 400. That should be that should be a good start. 400 cloth. And hopefully we can get Rainy some clothing. Ooh, caravan request. Let's decline that. We don't need that right now. They're still getting food poisoning from their meals. I wonder if it's... I don't know if it's because they've got poor cooking skills. 5 out of 20. 6 out of 20. 4. 4. Mm, they're not that bad at cooking. <laughs> yeah, that's Rainy. She's unhappy that she is nude. But she's still in the hospital, so I don't understand. She should she should be Oh really? Why is it rotting? It should be frozen in here. Yeah, it's minus four. Nothing should be rotting. Weird. Um she should be she's in the hospital, so she shouldn't care if she's nude. She be she should be wearing a hospital gown or something like that. Weird. I don't I'm not sure why it rotted. It is, it's below freezing in here, so everything is frozen and won't spoil. Maybe it was something outside. Maybe I left something out there. I don't know. The map is so big, it's hard for me to find things. Oh, there's an animal that we can take. Oh, I, I think it's rotten. No, it's not rotten yet. Alright, so now that we're... We've got some cloth. We don't need to hunt quite so many animals. We were just going to hunt them so that we could get their fur, but we don't need to do that. thinking about taking that room down and getting all the bricks from it, but I think that would be kind of a pain in the patootie, and we don't, I guess we don't need them that bad. I just feel that our supply, our stockpile is really small compared to, uh, yeah, these are all still alive. Maybe we should deal with that. We can finish these off. Because they're mechanoids, they won't heal up or come back to life or anything like that. And uh, they'll just squirm around on the ground forever. And there's another one under, under here. There we go. Um, re removing their blades because they're actually worth a lot of money. You can also install the blades on your colonists. Which is always interesting. Alright, I think that's all their parts that we can swipe from them. Somebody will get to that eventually. So we're back up to five colonists again, which is awesome. And hopefully, eventually, we will also recruit Trumpet. Oh, he puked in his, in his uh, prison. Or trumpet. That's okay. The robot should come and clean it. Yep. <laughs> oh, so Ogre went and gave him more food and he's probably just gonna barf that up too. <laughs> hey, how come you guys gave up on the clothing? Pants are almost done. Yay, Rainy's all healed up. That's awesome. Oh, and she's gonna work on some clothing. Where are you going, bud? Did you already finish your cookie? Wow, that was fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay, she made a shirt. Hopefully she will put it on. <laughs> She's going back to Taylor Moore, but a gazelle self-teamed? Oh, that's interesting. Oof. <sighs> Let's see that gazelle. It's named itself Gazelle 1. Alright, why not? Gazelles are cool. Send it to the home area. Some of the animals, they have milk or you can 
use them to fight and stuff like that. I don't know about gazelles. Oh good, Rainy put on the clothing, so that's awesome. Uh, I guess we'll make her a jacket too. So I don't know if any of you guys are Sims 4 fans, but I ended up getting the, they came out with an expansion today, Cats and Dog. I love The Sims 4. It's one of my, it's right up there with RimWorld. <laughs> I love it more than RimWorld, to be honest. Uh, so I was testing out whether or not I could play it with the little dude on my lap. It's not quite as automated as RimWorld is, or as random, so I decided not to play it for tonight, on stream at least. I have definitely been playing it. Are you okay? You have to chew that very well before you swallow it, child. Uh, and then one of my friends had the suggestion uh, that I should uh, make a, a neighborhood named after all the people who watch my stream and then a household after some of the subs from the stream and then see what happens with that. I find that I, I, I feel a little awkward controlling what people do. Like here, I'm not controlling what you guys are doing. So if a romance, for example, blossoms between colonists, which it does happen, uh, I don't feel like I had to pick the two people out and smoosh them together and, you know, and anyway, I don't want to go into details about this. Uh, like I didn't, it was very hands off and the AI did it all. Whereas in The Sims, if you wanted uh, your characters to, to do that with one another, you have to force it. <laughs> So, so it's a little bit weird. <laughs> I feel awkward about that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> we're not getting into a, we're not getting into a birds and bees discussion here. <laughs> In rim world, that's how it happens. We've got a textiles trader passing overhead again, but we don't need to talk to them right now. We've already gotten all the cloth we need. <laughs> yeah, am I going to have to put an 18 plus warning on this? <laughs> Alright, hold on, dude. Let's change sides. Nice burp. Here, go on the other side. There you go. What? I'm sorry, honey. I don't know what you want. I don't know what's up. Hmm? There you go. Here, is this what you wanted? You want to be able to watch TV and sit on me? There you go. All right. Using my wrong hand here. This is always fun. We still haven't gotten enough uh, healing medicine thingies to actually make the hospital bed that's waiting in the hospital. Which is why there's that green arrow there. We need to have... 10 medicine and we have zero. <laughs> Great. I don't know if there's a way for us to make medicine. There probably is, but I haven't looked into it yet because we've been busy researching so much other stuff. Ooh, pirate merchant. Maybe they have a jaw. All right, let's send Ogre to talk to them. More stuff is rotting away in storage. Why is that happening? It's plus eight in here now. Why is it plus eight? That's crazy. Hmm. It's 27 outside. It should not be plus 8 in here. I wonder if I need to make another freezer. Let's build a copy of it. Maybe I need two to keep the temperature right. That's very odd. I don't want things rotting. That's not cool. Maybe it's because the bots are going in too often or something. Like, the more you open the door, uh, the heat escapes. It's a really weird... I mean, it's how it happens in real life, so... Uh, hospital beds in this game are made from medicine, yes. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. And they have medicine. Let's buy all 13 of those. Let's get rid of some of these weapons we don't need and armor. We're going to keep our kitty cat guns that we started with because they're awesome. But we don't want to get rid of those. Uh, we'll sell that. And I guess that's it. They have no jaws. They don't have hardly anything. They have some wine and some vodka and some beer and some rum. <laughs> Pirate mer- oh! We could sell Trumpet too, but we still want to recruit him, so we don't have to sell him. We'll keep him. 
I'll see if maybe getting a second freezer in there helps that one room. It's odd. Now it's six degrees. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, 528 meat just rotted in a blink of an eye. Frustrating. Grr. Uh, somebody take care of this. Because I don't want any more... Oh, of course, we have a solar flare. I don't want any more meat rotting. We're going to have to send someone out to go hunting now. Let's get rid of some boomalopes. They don't give a, a lot of meat, but they give a little bit. And we'll get rid of those emus, too. Emu, emu. Doot, 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 doot. Um... I don't know if it's the wax lips. I don't know how long they've been in there. It doesn't say anything about them being warm or anything like that. Like it should it should have absolutely no bearing on anything. I think maybe the room is just too large for the one uh, cooler to be. And now we have a solar flare anyway, so I can't I can't test that theory. Like, I, I honestly think it's because of the doors being opened and closed so many times and the cooler not being able, the, whatever, what is this anyway? Yeah, the cooler. Not being able to handle the, the size of the room. Because if this little robot's going in here, like, every minute to sweep up a single thing of dirt, um, then that would be an issue. All right, so let's put this down into the freezing. There we go, negative 19. And we'll see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then I'll take out the lips and see. Maybe it's the coffee. Is the coffee too warm or something? Like, is it? It doesn't. I don't think so. I. Really? Why are you eating raw meat? I don't understand why they're eating raw meat instead of actual food. All right. Hey, we have an alpaca again. Yay. Let's get her. Dude, do you want down? Oof, you are straining hard. Here you go. Here you go. There you go, buddy. All right, so uh, it's minus seven in there now. So I do think maybe the room was just too large for that one thing to handle. Oh, you got yarn in the mail today? Oh, good for you. Yay. That makes it a really good day. I'm so happy for you. Good job. Well, not good job. I mean, you, but yeah, good job. <laughs> Somebody needs to have a good day. We're gonna give... Oh, hey, Welsh Troll's wearing a jacket now. He's putting on clothes without us looking. Oh, right, right, right. I remember. So now you have enough to make what you want to make. Silly Welsh troll. Putting on clothes when we're not looking. Yeah, he put on a cloth jacket. Huh. Sneaky. Alright, so it's minus three. Maybe we'll build one more freezer. Just because this is such a large room. And we'll just see if having three of them going in here keeps it cold. <laughs> oh, yay for pom-pom makers. I've only made, I don't know, two or three pom-poms, I guess? One of them completely fell apart and I ended up with a bajillion little strings all over the dang place and that was not fun at all. <laughs> you gotta be really careful with them. And sometimes, um, basically what you do is you you tie you tie itself around itself you'll when you make them you'll know what I mean and uh, if you tie it too tight you'll snap the yarn and and it'll just fall apart and it's a big disaster but if you tie it too loose then all the little threads will fall out so <laughs> it's a careful balancing act between tying it tight enough to hold all the stuff and not so tight that you snap the yarn All right, so we're gonna build another cooler in here. Meanwhile, it's like 24 degrees instantly, but I don't think it should be long enough for anything to fall apart or rot, hopefully. 
Um, hey Scopeek, how about you finish building this instead of playing pool? <laughs> there. Alright, so now we've got three of them. Let's turn the temperature down. And hopefully that'll take care of everything. So what are we short on? Uh, not really too much. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine what would happen if a puppy got a peg of pom-poms. <laughs> Did any get eaten? Was the dog pooping out yarn? Because I've had that with my cat before in the past. And I mean, you know, you feel bad because they shouldn't be eating yarn, but it's also hilarious. <laughs> uh... What are, you, what are you doing under here, kid? It's, it's like I've got a dog underfoot. A little guy's underneath my desk. Playing with a... I don't know what you're playing with. Something. Something that I assume is okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, so try, still trying to recruit Trumpet. We've got a 94... 5% failure, so it's quite high, but I mean, we've done it before. Oh yes, cats love elastic bands. I used to have to keep my hair elastics very far away, or else they'd get eaten. Watch your head. Watch your head. There you go. You went up? Up. Okay. okay. There you go. Dude, you're stinky. You're stinky. Did you have a present for me? Is that why you were so upset? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, let me check. Ouch! <laughs> That's me, not the kid. Hold on, let me check. Let me check. Nope, just farts, huh? Just farts. All right, well, you stink. <laughs> oh, a refugee is being chased. Hmm. Um, oh, he's Scopeek's father. Well, we have to offer safety to Scopeek's father. So let's offer safety, and now we'll have another uh, person join our colony. But we have to be on the lookout because they're being chased by pirates. So let's call everybody back to the house, uh, home, and we'll set them up at the same time. I mean, we couldn't say no to Scopeek's dad. Get these numbers all fixed up here. Uh, doo -doo. Uh, and let's make sure he's not crazy. He's gay and manipulative. <laughs> all right then. Ugh. Not horrible. Not horrible. I've seen worse. So we will give him a weapon. Send him in here. And then keep everybody close to the house so that when the pirates show up, we can just put them outside in the embrasures and our guns and stuff should help take care of everything. Hopefully it's not a big raid. Uh-oh. <laughs> Welsh Troll, your daughter is uh, part of this raid that's coming to the colony now. Oh goodness, there's a lot of them. Okay, oh, and they're really close to us already. All right. Let's uh, wake up Jadia and send her up here. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. There you go. And Scopeek, you go there. And Welsh Troll, you have a broom, and we'll just put you there. Ogre, you go there. We're gonna need a name for that colonist. I think this will be Iron Wolf the second. go. We've got Iron Wolf the second. You are Scopeek's father. Don't let anything happen. Is everybody seriously gonna walk outside? Oh, that was a bad idea. They're walking outside to go to the embrasure this way instead of walking through the, the base. Oh, maybe I don't have a way to walk through the base. No, yes I do. Of course I do. This is gonna be a big mess. Alright, well... 
Hopefully everybody gets inside. While well, they're being shot at. <laughs> that was a very backwards way for them all to do it. Wait, except Scopee, who went the long way? What the hell? Oh, and Ogre's already been... Oh, we're gonna lose Ogre. Oh, no. Uh, right now, I am... That's a good question. Right now, I'm playing on Intense. I usually play on Extreme. Uh, there's some events you don't get unless you play on the harder difficulties. So, I usually play on Extreme. But, not always. Alright, so we need to rescue. We're gonna send Jadia out to get Ogre. Hopefully she goes the short way. She is going the short way, good. Back in you go. Okay. Oh no, they took down part of the embrasure. That's not cool. Hmm. I think we only need to kill a few more before they flee. They're, uh, they're t oh, they're fleeing now. Okay, good. They took out one of our guns. Okay, so we rescued and we didn't lose anybody. That's okay. We're doing good. Yeah, well, you just started playing, though, so... <laughs> what the hell, Marcus? You're supposed to be fleeing and you just broke through our house. He just broke our door down. Alright, let's pause it for a second here and just see if we've got anybody worth rescuing. Hard worker, misogynist, and slowpoke. That's an interesting character trait. Manipulative and jealous. And... <gasps> We've got a force sensitive. We've got to rescue this person. We've got to rescue Anne and capture them. And put them in our base. Now we can let Scoopy go. Marcus, who is going through our base and being a pain in the ass, he keeps breaking all our doors down. Jadio, we can unrecruit you. Okay, let's get this person healed up. Uh, Scopeek, where are you? I think he's fleeing from Marcus. Welsh Troll, we're gonna have you take care of Amy, who is now our prisoner. 74%. Oof, good chance of recruiting that person. Yay! Someone else with the who's sensitive to the force. Um, I don't understand why Marcus is breaking all our doors down. Maybe we will kill them. Actually, we're going to send Welsh troll after him cuz he's got the broom. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up? We can capture him, I think, but we're out of prisoner beds right now, so we don't have any place for him to hang out. There. So we just killed him instead. Alright, Welsh Troll, you did well. You and your broom. Uh, let's just unrecruit him. I think everybody else is okay. Yeah, alright. So everybody can heal up, get better. Hey, buddy. You want back up? Yeah. We've got a lot of, uh, Things to repair. We've got to repair the guns outside, the walls and the doors that were all broken down. And they'll take care of that slowly. Oh, and we're having a heat wave. Wonderful. So, first we're going to allow everything on the map, and then we're going to have to build ourselves those passive coolers. And let's get a whole bunch of those built. Oh, what's up, honey? Yeah, I know. There, that should do us. Dude, you're very, very stinky, you know. You're very stinky. You smell like bantha voodoo. <laughs> I know, that's funny, huh? Death by broom is like the best death ever, right? <laughs> if there could be a best death, I think death by broom. At least in room world. I don't know, fox, death by fox, death by tentacle beast. Body eaten by bear. We've had some pretty unique deaths. Sacrificed a time or two. Uh, so Iron Wolf the second needs a weapon. So we're gonna give him a gun.
<laughs> I don't know that it's the most glorious. It, it, it was certainly... Uh-huh. It was certainly an experience, that's for sure. I don't know if it's the most glorious, though. Yay! Alright, what else should we research? We've been working on researching robots so that we can build robots that will do all the the boring stuff, but I think we're going to do occupational clothing next so that we can get a nurse's uniform and stuff like that crafted. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even get to cremate your corpse or put it anywhere fancy or anything like that. Bear just ate you and that was it. That was the end. And normally the animals don't eat a full corpse because they get full, uh, but they devoured you, so yeah. Uh, we need to give Ogre a weapon, apparently. He must have dropped his when he got knocked down. Mm -hmm. So it's 38 degrees indoors and everybody is angry, so we need to pump up construction and get them constructing those, uh, those cooling, those passive coolers. Yes, baby, I know, right? And that does that work, honey. One of the doors, at least. All right, you want back down? Here you go. They still need to replace some walls up here and that second door that's being built. Still 34 in the house. That's not cool. But it's 48 outside, so it could be much worse. Don't want our colonists to sweat to death. Ogre's still healing up, and we're still trying to recruit Trumpet, and now Amy. We should have a better chance at recruiting Amy, though. I think hers was at, like, 74, so hopefully we'll get someone else with the force joining the colony, and then we'll have seven colonists, which is awesome. We don't need any more bedrooms right away, do we? Uh, oh, we will, huh? Well, we can make this one not a guest bed. There we go. Instantly have another bedroom. What's up, dude? Here. There you go. There you go. Oh no, our alpaca got food poisoning from corn. Of all things. We're probably gonna lose all kinds of meat again because of the heat wave, even with three freezers. We can't keep it cool enough to be below freezing. Dude, what? Oh, there you go. There you go. It's okay. Just calm down. Calm down. Mwah. Calm down. It's all good. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the heat wave doesn't last long. It's very random. You know, I haven't seen... There you go, buddy. I haven't seen a nuclear winter or toxic fallout happen in any of my games for a really long time. I don't know if they removed it or not. Those used to be... Oh, you know what? I have everybody stuck in the house still, I bet. I do. Junk. There we go. Uh, toxic fallout. It used to coat your whole entire map with poison, basically, and you'd be stuck inside your house until... Hey, games mom. You'd be stuck until you're inside your house until the toxic fallout ended or you risk getting poisoned and, well, dying. So you'd have to build like your farms and everything indoors, which you can do. There are, uh, there's grow lamps and stuff like that. And you'd need to have a source of food inside and it really sucked. Or if you build on the tundra, you have that a lot too because they don't have a growing season. Uh, so I haven't, but I haven't seen that event. Of course, now that I've said that I haven't seen that event, I'm sure the next event that happens will be something like that, or, or both of them all at once. <laughs> Go figure. So they're just now that I've let them out of the house, they're bringing all the, 
all the gear from the other people. Oh, and uh, it looks like Iron Wolf the second has good crafting because he's working on the prosthetic leg. I think that's for Scopeek. Yeah, he needs a leg still. So I wonder if that means he can make a jaw. Do we still have a bill for a jaw? We don't. Let's get a jaw made and we'll bump it up. What's up, honey? And we'll see if we can't finally take care of Jadia and get her a, that jaw. Do we have a better doctor now, too? Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Iron Wolf II is also our best doctor. He's only got a skill of five. The last Iron Wolf had a skill of eight. So I'm not too confident that he would get the jaw installed, but it's very random. So maybe he'd have a good go at it and be able to finally give Jadia what she has always longed for, a voice. <laughs> If we could get the clothing made, uh, that would help a lot. Let's forbid the catnip joints. Do we have any other non-nice things in here? Do we have any other drugs in here that I want to forbid everybody? What is this? A shirt and tie. Haha, <laughs> cute. Alright, so I told him to forego the prosthetic leg and to instead work on the hydraulic jaw. So he's going to work on that. It's not going to be the greatest of things. She's going to be a little angry and she's going to be in some pain because of it. But it's going to be way better than what she had previously, which was, you know, no jaw. Uh, we've got a new sculpture. Let's put it... Where should we put it? Let's put it in the kitchen. Make that a fancy room. Uh, We've got Welsh Troll. Welsh Troll is the one who wanted, who was greedy for a fancy bedroom, so we gave him all these sculptures in his room to make it fancier for him. I don't know if he's happy about that. Oops, didn't mean to close that. Oh, he's missing an eye and an ear. Poor guy. <laughs> greedy for impressive bedroom. Dang, no, he still wants an impressive bedroom. I think the only way we'll be able to give him an impressive bedroom is if we give him, like, a whole huge room all to himself, which we can do. We've got the room for it. Maybe if we end up recruiting one of these guys and we need another bedroom, I'll start shifting things around and giving... Because, I mean, he's not in any danger of going crazy, but the happier you can make your colonists, the better it is for everybody. Iron Wolf 2 is a little unhappy, so is Rainy 2. No injuries, though, so that's good. Everybody's clothed. They've all got weapons. The building has been repaired. The guns outside have been repaired. It hasn't been a bad run this time, I don't think. We are still in the middle of a heat wave, but it's actually still negative inside the freezer, which is great. You want back up? Hold on, buddy. Watch your head. Yes, baby. Watch your head. Hey, it's okay. Calm down. Just calm down a little. It's okay. Oh, seriously? So I pick him up and he's got a little bit of cookie in his hand and his his newest thing is throwing things at my keyboard so he just chucked the cookie at my keyboard. It's for eating, not for throwing, honey. Alright, you just do whatever. We're going to turn off the alpaca and gazelle um follow command because I don't want them running out when there's like a siege going on. What, what, what? You want... I see you dropped it. Here, here. There you go, buddy. It's for eating though, not for throwing. <laughs> yes, honey. I know. I know. Life's so rough. Life is so rough. Here. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? Stop throwing cookies everywhere. They're not for throwing. So now we have a good stockpile of things to sell. Okay. Yay, the heat wave is over. Oh, and we've got a hydraulic jaw. Dude. Ugh. It's fell on the floor. Here. There you go. Okay. Okay. No. There. Alright, so now we have to prepare Jadia for surgery. Again. And cross all our fingers and toes that we are able to do it. So operation, um, where is it? Install hydraulic jaw. Okay. 
Okay. Let's pause it for a second here. I'm using my wrong hand, so everything's a little bit slower than normal. We're gonna set her in the bed, and then we will have, let's just double check to make sure. Three out of 20, yeah, so Iron Wolf the second. It's gonna be your job to perform this operation. And hopefully this time we succeed. Prioritize operating. Fingers crossed, guys. We want this one to work. Jadia deserves it. She deserves to have a functioning jaw, even if it is just a hydraulic one and not a fancy bionic one. Dude, seriously? Oh, there goes the operation. Oh, Iron Wolf the second has failed in a minor way while operating on Jadia. All right. So that didn't work, but she shouldn't die from it at least. What did he do? He cut her head. All right, well, we're gonna have to put another order for another jaw. Let's just make two of them. <laughs> How hard can it be? You just slice a bunch of stuff, right? <laughs> Dude. Now she's gotta heal back up. We're gonna, we're gonna finish the research first and get the profession clothing and get him a nurse's outfit. And we'll do the surgery again when he's got the nurse's outfit because otherwise we're just wasting materials. And this will be the third time that he's tried to do the surgery. I mean, not him in specific because it was the other dude who failed last time. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it right. Don't worry, Jadia, hang in there. You will get your jaw, I promise, I promise. Oh, I guess they don't have the supplies to build this door. Limestone blocks. So we're out of limestone blocks. So we're going to make a sandstone one instead. We're going to deconstruct that and put a sandstone door. Because we've got sandstone. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the other Iron Wolf he, who had a higher skill even and still failed. So I should have known that this Iron Wolf with lower skill was also going to fail. But I like to try because it's like, it's RNG, honestly. I just don't have any luck. Well, I have lots of luck. It's all bad. <laughs> all right. And on that note, I think that's going to be it for the Friday stream, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is weekend for hopefully everybody. Um... I'll be back Monday, same time as always. I think I'll probably still be playing RimWorld because I really want Jadia to get a jaw. It's like a personal challenge now. It's like my own personal goal. I may end up playing over the weekend just to see if I can get the clothing made. And I promise I won't do the surgery without you guys in tow. So thanks so much for watching. And as always, happy gaming no matter where you find yourself.